Hey everyone, all right, in today's vlog, I am going to break down, break down what has been taught to you about manifestation, especially when you have a thought and you go into action, that's what you're taught, right? Especially in entrepreneurial circles, if you're an entrepreneur, you know that the more action you have right after a thought, you get accolades. Other entrepreneurs are like, she's a doer, he's a doer, they get shit done, this person is solid, they just go for it. That's bullshit, that is absolute bullshit. That, you will attract something because you're doing, but if you truly want to live with the alignment of your higher self and you want something more than just um, like living like the rest of the herd, and I don't care. I know right now we are living in an entrepreneurial culture and there's truth to entrepreneurship. There is a need for action, but if you truly, truly want to live in happiness and do have a job or work and do things out of love for yourself in alignment with your higher self and where you're giving back to the society, it is so important to, when you have a thought, to sit back. I bet you haven't heard that before. So when you have a thought of let's say doing, like for me to make these YouTube videos, when you have a thought, do not do what, don't do what the rest of society is teaching you to do, which is action right away. Sit back and receive. Now, a lot of people won't even be able to comprehend this. They won't because we live so much out of our ego and it's taken me years to learn this. So we live so much out of our ego that we literally think we don't know how to receive. So this vlog may seem very frou-frou to those who are so used to Action, because that's what I was. This has been my biggest challenge. Like right now, the my challenge is like the, I'm so disidentified with everything right now, and I've had to sit back because I'm like, okay, do I grow this YouTube channel? And the answer's been yes. All right, and then I've had visions of like speaking. I've had these visions all my life, like speaking on stage. Am I gonna grow that? Yeah, but what I'm doing right now, and it's the hardest thing to do, is I am sitting back and I'm allowed, I'm receiving. Like, I am telling the universe, I'm ready, let's go. But this, I'm ready, let's go, is not action. This, I'm ready, let's go, is let's go. I'm ready to receive. Give me guidance on what it is. Now this is, it's hard to do because if you're not open or like, you know, just kind of into the whole meditation thing or clearing your mind or whatever, which I don't, I think if you're following me on this channel, I feel like you probably are. But the biggest thing here is the sitting back and how do you receive? Like, what does it mean to receive? The universe pushes a thousand million things in front of you to guide you in your highest good and your highest path. It is up to you to have a clear mind and to be in what Abraham Hicks calls the vortex in order to see the synchronicities that the universe is giving to you. And the, the way you see those synchronicities is when you are feeling good, when you're feeling positive and joyful about life and everything that's happening. So when you're in a good feeling state, you can then pick up on the synchronicities that the universe is shoving in front of your face all day long. It's, it's up to you to see them. So once you've received, then the universe is going to throw you contrasting moments. 
Okay, and this is like how Abraham Hicks kind of describes it, but I'm just giving you my experience on it. So those contrasting moments are going to be um, like failure. So for me, like in my soap business, when I, I gave Amazon keywords, I studied Google AdWords, Amazon keywords, all of that before I began to sell soap. And the last thing I did was I was learning how to do funnels and that's what killed me. That was the, that was my con. There was always contrast. I never got anything easy. And this was my realization when I decided I'm gonna turn my soap business into more of like wholesale only is because those contrasting moments were freaking hard, man. Like they were fucking hard. Those contrasting moments, yes, I made money like off of my actions, but it was hard earned. And I'm not saying like hard is bad, but it's not good either. If we don't want to go upstream anymore and we want to go downstream, then you can find easy. Easy is out there. I'm telling you, easy is out there and it's, made for us, but you just have to be in that receiving mode. And when those contrasting moments happen, I'm going to give you such a huge tip right now. Whether you're going to manifest or not is going to de depend on what Abraham Hicks calls step five. Step five is when you go back to step one and step one is the first thought that you have of what you want. So step five is after you've been through like, let's say the receiving mode and then the contrasting moments, usually failure, fear, whatever. Step five is going back to the thought, but not allowing step four, the contrasting moments to have negativity or ill effect. So not going back into the negative parts or not looking at the contrasting moments, the failures as bad, but seeing them as a little bit of enlightenment in your journey and learning from them, then going back to the thought. That is when your true manifestations will happen. So it's not action on the thought right away. It's actually step back. Like if you're going to be a realtor or you think you're gonna be a realtor, step back before you spend thousands on a course and then go marketing and start your whole business journey. Go and mentor with a realtor first. You know, see, do you really like it? Where did, what, like how, how are you gonna observe that thought? Are you gonna act right on it? I wouldn't recommend that you do. So from there, if you don't act, you're actually opening yourself up to receiving. And the receiving maybe, don't put money into it yet, go get some mentorship. And then you might be at a party and someone introduces you to a realtor who is looking for a student that they want a preceptor because the student can help them a little bit. That is when you are in receiving mode. Then what the then you're gonna be thrown some contrasting moments, some fear, hardship, because that's what human life is about. And the last step, step five, is how you are able to perceive those contrasting moments. Do you see the good in them or do you see the bad in them? And that's gonna take you back to your thought because that's how you will analyze your thought. And you, the more you see the good in the failures, you are coming to closer to your soul. So if you start here, like your feet, let's say, and you get to step five and you saw good in the failure that hurt you and kicked your ass, you're coming closer to your soul's urge, you see? So don't act, do not, please. When you have thoughts, don't act right away because a thought only ha a thought is energy. You still are perceiving that thought to be something, to be a vision. That's your perception. So then you have to step back and observe that vision, okay? Then let yourself receive. Then let the universe flow through you. It's totally different than what you're taught. Love you guys. Bye.